Hi everyone, welcome to day two of our vocabulary lessons. Today we're going to learn two new words from our book, Whistle for Willie. But before we get started with our new words, I want to see what you remember about our words from yesterday. So what do you remember about our word whirl? Tell somebody at home what you remember about the word whirl. All right, so maybe you talked about what it means to spin around fast, or maybe you talked about how in the story, Peter whirled around really fast until he got dizzy. All right, what do you remember about the word scramble? Tell your partner right now. All right, did you remember that scramble means to move really quickly because you're in a hurry? Or maybe you talked about your example yesterday of how you scrambled. All right, let's learn some new words. All right, the first one comes from this page. I know we talked about it yesterday. We're gonna get another word from this page. So it said, Peter tried and tried to whistle. So Peter was very determined. And that's the first word we're going to learn today is determined. So when you are determined, you want to do something very much and you keep trying even if it's hard. Let's take a look at the picture card for that. So in this picture, the boy is learning how to ride his bike without training wheels. And if you look closely, you'll see these little squiggly lines that shows he's very wobbly because it's not easy to learn how to go from training wheels to no training wheels. Once you learn, then it's awesome. But in that process of learning, it's difficult. Um, he wants to learn how to ride his bike without his training wheels, so he's determined. He keeps trying even though it is difficult or it's hard. So when we do our gesture for determined, we're going to do like him. We're going to pretend like we're on our bike and we're wobbling. Determined, right? Maybe have a look on your face like, I'm not going to give up. Determined. Good. All right. So. When I was little, I was determined to learn how to do a back, not a back flip, but a back dive into our pool growing up. I, it's really scary to throw yourself back because you, you could hit the side of the pool and that's not good. You don't want to hit your head when you're going under the water. But I, I didn't give up and I kept doing it and I can still do a back dive to this day. All right, so I was finally able to do it. I was determined to get it done and eventually I did. What is something you are determined to do? Remember, it's something that's hard, but you're not gonna give up until you're able to do it. Tell your partner right now what you're determined. And you may remember to use the word, I'm determined to learn how to. Alright, so what's the new word we're learning that means you're not going to give up even though it's hard? Do the gesture. Determined. Awesome. Alright, our next word comes from this page right here. This is when Peter finally learned how to whistle, right? He tried and tried. He was determined and he was able to do it. And over here, his mom and his dad and Willie and even Peter himself, they're all proud of him for learning how to whistle. It said they loved his whistling. They were proud of him. So the next word we're going to learn is proud. Proud is when you're happy about something that you have done, right? So let's take a look at the picture card. Oh my goodness, right there she has painted a picture and she's holding it up and she's got a big old smile on her face because she is proud of that painting that she did. Let's take a look at the word proud. Proud. All right. I want to talk to you about feeling proud. It is really good to feel proud about yourself, especially when it was something hard to do and you were determined and you were able to do it. You should feel great about your accomplishments when you don't give up and you learn how to do something. So um, 
I felt proud of myself when I graduated from college. Being a teacher is something I wanted to do. I've always liked to work with kids. And even when I was a kid, I liked to help other kids learn. And um, being a teacher was something I was really proud of getting my degree to do. And I went on to get my master's degree as well. Um, I also felt very proud when I learned how to bake from scratch. Not from a box from the grocery store, but when I learned how to actually bake with all the ingredients, uh, and I was really good at it. I really love to bake, especially cupcakes, and I get a lot of pleasure watching other people really enjoy them. So I'm proud about being a teacher, and I'm proud about being a good baker. What's something that you're proud of? Something that you learned to do or something you know how to do that um, makes you feel proud about yourself? So remember, you, you're happy when you can do it. So tell somebody, I felt proud when, or I feel proud about, go ahead. All right, so when we do the gesture for proud, we're gonna pretend like we have something in our hands. It could be uh, something you made or something you, an award you got, um, and you're just gonna hold it up and say proud. Make sure your face looks happy about it, proud. Okay, so what's the word that we learned today that means you don't give up, you keep trying, even if it's hard? Determined. And the word that means you're happy about something that you were able to do? Proud. All right, join me tomorrow for a review of our vocabulary words from the week from Whistle for Willie. Bye, guys.